Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Parallax Abstraction, and welcome to another episode of Retro Flashback, showcasing gaming's roots for a new generation. Today we're going to be taking a look at Galaga 90 for the TurboGrafx-16, or as it's known to most people, Galaga 88. That's actually the name of the original arcade version that came out. They just renamed it Galaga 90 when they ported it over to the TurboGrafx-16 because, well, that's basically when it came out. This is basically an arcade-perfect port, which was very unusual on the Turbo Graphics, uh, to, to put it mildly. Now, before I go any further here, I'm going to say something controversial. It's something a lot of hard school, hard school, hardcore old school arcade purists are going to take issue with. I imagine I'm going to make a few people's death lists after this, but... It needs to be said because it's what I believe, and damn it, I say what I believe. This is the best Galaga game. Now, I know, I know, I know, put your keyboards down, don't start commenting yet, to put your monitor back on its desk, that thing's expensive, you, there's no need to break it, this, just listen, okay? Just listen here, hear me out. I love the original Galaga to death. I played a bazillion games of it. I have the Xbox Live Arcade release that came out a number of years ago. It's a great game. I love it. Let's make sure there's no question about that. However, this game I consider better because it retains the original spirit, playstyle, mechanics, controls, all that good stuff about the original Galaga, but it looks better, it sounds better, and the couple of little tiny additions they made are... Just enough to add a little bit extra flair to it, and I think it makes it the better game as a result. I know a lot of people out there are going to disagree, but if you've never played this and you are a big Galaga fan, give this a try. It It's really worth giving, giving a chance, I think, and it's, yeah, it's a really, really good Galaga game. I mean, Galaga... Maybe not the original shmup, but one of the, the quintessentials in shmup literacy, shall we shall we say. And yeah, uh, this, is, this is the best version of it, I think. But if you don't believe me, watch on and let me prove it to you. So, here we go. So, pretty simple. So you start this game off. It's This is kind of an interesting thing. So you can either start with a single ship or two ships, which gives you twice as much bullet spread, but you lose a life when you start that way, which is kind of interesting. So, I'm going to take the dual route, just because. And here we go. So, like the original Galaga as well, if you do start in single mode, what you can do is, if you let certain enemies come in too close, you can actually get your ship picked up and taken away, which costs you a life, but if you can shoot the ship down appropriately, you can actually, like, i.e. shoot down the stuff that's captured it without actually blowing it up, you'll get dual mode automatically, so you can kind of turn yourself into dual if you don't want to start that way. But Galaga Galaga 90 slash 88 gives you the means to, to start that way, which I think is kind of cool. But as you can see, if you bomb it up, as I just did here, you lose your dual ship very, very quickly, and you don't get that life back. So, as you're seeing here, to anyone who's not familiar with Galaga... Well, I mean, my god, but, you know, we're, you're watching this series probably in part because I said, you know, I wanted to uh, showcase older titles to people who maybe didn't experience them. So, Galaga is, this is a bonus stage here, Galaga is one of the original shoot-em-up titles. It's a wave-based game, meaning that you start a level, enemies come in in groups, and once they come in except in this level, because this is a wave-based bonus stage, the enemies will take their place on the top of the screen, and your goal is to take them all out and move on. Normally I do better on that level, but I haven't played this in a little while. So you take out all the enemies and move on. You want to try to take out as many of them before they can take their place as possible, because if you... There we go. Got a little power up there. Because if you let too many of them take their place in their sort of roost here at the top of the screen, they will start to shoot at you, and random ones will start to fly down the screen to, to take aim at you. Different enemies will attack you in different patterns, and you don't, as you can see, if you let too many hang out up top, more will come down more frequently and in more and more complicated patterns, things like that, which can get you screwed. 
And yeah, it can cause major uh, major problems if uh, you let too many too many hang out up top. So you want to try to take out as many as you can. But at the same time, if you're trying to go for higher score, because of course, like any good arcade game, this is most certainly a high score attack, you can actually play the patterns to get more points. So you saw there in that last stage that one of the enemies I killed... Uh, when he started coming down at me from the top, he split off in, like that, right there. He split off into sort of multiples. You'll get additional points for taking all those out, as you can see right there. But you don't... He won't do that. He won't do that split off unless you attack him when he's coming down from the top. So if you take him out before he roosts up top, then you're depriving yourself of some extra points. Point potential, I guess. But you are also making the level... A little bit easier to progress so that's one of the things I think is kind of cool about about the way the Galaga formula works is that you can there is a little risk reward going on you are incentivized for maybe not taking the safest route even if you have the ability to clear everybody out if you do that you're not gonna get as many points so you want to try to mix it up so here we have another bonus stage these bonus stages are fairly fairly frequent. They they come every few every few stages, and you basically just get extra bonus points the more enemies you take out. I've never managed to clear this one completely. I have managed to clear out that first uh, one that I already went through before, and you get some really nice perfect bonuses for that. Ooh, made a decent dent in that wave. Uh, not so much actually. So here we go. And the game progresses like this. The wave get the waves get harder. So because of those little uh, blue power ups I picked up, I got what's called the dimension warp. Which if you the more of those you get, the further ahead you warp, and uh, it will allow you to progress a little bit more quickly through the game if you want. Now this is another area right here. This is actually where a lot of Galaga purists get a little annoyed. Is you see we're in this sort of auto-scrolling level here. This is more like a traditional, uh, more modern-day shmup title, I guess you could say. And you see we get with a, a pre-created large wave at the end. The original Galaga did not do this, and a lot of people think that this really is in contrary to the spirit of, of Galaga, if you will. I don't know if I agree with that. I mean, I can, I can understand how, how it's quite a bit different. But I don't think it's a fundamental negative difference to the series. I think it's just... I mean, it's different, sure, but you're still doing a lot of the core same things. You're just... you're trying to get to the end of the level. You are still getting waves coming at you, different kinds of waves, sure. This guy, this guy as you can see, is really tough because he's coming in at increasing speeds. And then you get a pre-created wave at the end, but the, the basic idea is the same. And you see, we create, we passed that, and now we're moving on. And yeah, I'll give you that. These asteroid things are kind of lame. You know, they're fairly generic hazard that you see in a lot of games like this. And yeah, they're not normal enemies, and they're not terribly fun. It's not perfect. I'm, you know, I'm never going to say that that this game is not without fault, to be sure. But I, I like this this little variant. I think this is kind of cool gives you a little break from the sort of normal action and how you do in this can determine your progression and that's really cool Let's see how I can do this here I'm actually doing considering I'm commentating with this and that I haven't played this game in a long time I'm not doing so bad which is uh, first time for everything I guess right we'll see here but I've shown you most of the core tenets of this game in a, and Galaga as a whole in a nutshell really it's really good. It's it's it starts off easy, gives you an opportunity to get used to things, but it gets harder uh, very quickly. And it's a really good it has a really really good scoring system that rewards taking risk, but doesn't require it, which is very nice, especially for a title that's that came out in arcades. A lot of them just relied on raw challenge, and this game has it no matter how you play it, but it gives you the opportunity, so here's... And yeah, this is another thing Galaga people don't like, is bosses, or a boss of this nature, which, again, I think it's okay. I think it's kind of cool. Unfortunately, I bombed myself out on that one, so you don't get to see that, but... So you see here the progression. Now, that's the other thing. This game is bloody long as you can see so 
I only got sort of halfway through this second section, and you can see there's, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections, the last four of which are really, really long! So, yeah, I have, needless to say, I have not come ever remotely close to the end of this game. But, I should look up and see if there's a speed run for this, because I bet that would be quite fascinating. But, it would, uh, it would, yeah, it would be really interesting to see if somebody, uh, somebody pulled that off. But yeah, in a nutshell, that is Galaga 88, or Galaga, well, Galaga 88 originally, it's, that's really what it's called, Galaga 90 is just the Turbo Graphics version. But that's the great thing about this, is that this, this edition is essentially arcade perfect, and uh, that was really unusual in the Turbo Graphics because it was, yeah, the Turbo Graphics was fairly underpowered compared to a lot of the arcade hardware of its day uh, when it came out. And it was rather unusual to see something that came out on that system of all things that was that was almost the same as the arcade experience. But I do believe that the, that if you had to play one Galaga game, I mean, you should play you should play both. They're they're both really you know, Galaga and Galaga '88 slash '90 are both really really good games in their own ways. But honestly, if you were going to be trapped on a desert island, or someone put a gun to your head and said, you can play one Galaga game, which do you choose? I would say choose this one. I think there's more variety. I think it, it definitely looks better. It sounds better. It plays similarly. I'm not even going to say it plays better. It doesn't play worse. That's the important thing. A lot of games like this that get, you know, higher technology innova or innovations, iterations later down the line, tend to not play as well as the original. They're often inferior, and this this isn't. This They kept the spirit of Galaga in this, and they just took a good thing and made it better. And I think that's really the best you can ask for in a, uh, a real modernization of a title, which at the time is definitely what this was. I think uh, you should definitely check this out. It is available on the Wii Virtual Console, which is how I'm playing it. It has also been made available in a Namco iOS compilation. I believe it was called Namco uh, 30th Anniversary Collection, or Galaga 30th Anniversary Collection, something like that. Anyway, it is, it is on there. Uh, it is also uh, on the Sega Game Gear. And it was in Namco Museum 50th Anniversary for the PS2, Xbox, GameCube, and PC. And it's also in Namco Museum Virtual Arcade, which came out on the 360 as well. So you can get this in quite a number of places. And it's it's worth it's worth having, it's worth playing. Um, played a lot of this, I'm going to play a lot more. My name has been Parallax Abstraction. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.